Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to set up your Namecheap domain in Groove. But before we get into that, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these 50 and 50 videos we're doing to try to help you get a head start on getting your funnel or your website up using Groove. Let's take a look. Okay, so from the Groove dashboard, we're logged in. If we go up to this upper right to where our profile is and we click it. Then we click on my domains and then from here we click on custom domains and manage. From here we're going to add our domain. So we go to add a domain and we're going to use the full domain setup. From here we type in the name of the domain. In this case I'm going to use a name from Namecheap called GrooveHowTos.com. So we put that in here, GrooveHowTos.com, and click Next. What Groove is going to do is it's going to tell us to change the name servers in Namecheap. And so I'm just going to grab this one here, copy it, and I'm going to go do that process in Namecheap. So within Namecheap, on your domain, you click Manage. And from manage, we're going to go down to where it says name servers right here. And then we're going to drop this down and say custom DNS. And from here, we're going to paste in the name that we got from Groove. And we're going to go get the second name that we got. And then we're going to paste that in as well. So we got those two and we can check them. Uh, Dora and Major, and then we click check mark. And that's it. That's all we have to do in Namecheap to do this process. So you can see that it says it may take up to 48 hours to, to take effect. It can take a while, but in my experience with Namecheap, if you're US based, it, it could take as little as 5, 10, 20 minutes. But what we're going to do is we're going to click next and then we could either say, I'll do this later, or we could say validate DNS records. I'm going to show you what happens when we click validate. You can see right here, we got the little yellow window that says, please try again after an hour. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to come into the main window where you can see it says, click to verify domain. So we're going to pause for about 10 minutes. And then after we've waited for a while, we're going to come back click to verify domain and we're going to click validate DNS records and we see that it failed. So don't panic. We're going to wait another 10, 15 minutes. And after that delay, we click it again and we're going to click validate DNS and we get the green success badge at the bottom. So we're going to choose our primary app for this domain. So we click choose primary app and we have these options here. Groove pages down to Groove cart. So here's what I'm doing here. If you're going to publish a funnel to www.groovehowtos.com, then Groove pages will be the primary app where the domain is going to be posted. If you're going to publish a store at groovehowtos.com, you would use cart, a blog, membership, and so forth. Most of the time we're using pages, so we're going to say Groove Pages is my main app. One final thing. When we click on the DNS, we find a table where we can add um, some very important records which will help get our email working. Not Groove Mail, but our actual email box. So we might have an email address called kevin at groovehowtos.com. And that mailbox is going to be hosted at Google or Namecheap or Microsoft or Zoho or any other number of mailbox providers. And what we have to do is we have to go to those providers and we have to add the mailbox records, which are typically made up of MX. Uh, you might add an SPF, an SRV, or TXT records. But it's, it's different for each one of those mailbox hosts. 
So what we have to do is we have to go into those specific providers to find what we need to put into our account. So I'm going to put some links in the descriptions that you can use to go and find what your specific MX records are to define for the internet where to find your mailbox. Okay, I hope that was helpful and it really cleared some things up for you in regard to domains with Groove. And make sure you check out the other videos. Again, like and subscribe below. Check out the other videos we have on all kinds of things related to how to set up Groove, how to set up your funnel, how to set up your pages and everything hopefully that you need to know. If you have something specifically you would like to learn, please put it in the comments and we'll make sure we'll try to make a video specifically for your needs. All right. Thanks for joining us at Groove Tutorials.